three respond and assist units on the scene. Mike, you guys might as well come on in and we'll just do the door. Please, there's one! We teach them how to shoot, we teach them how to drive. How many drugs have you used tonight, Eddie? That's like asking uh, how many times you have sex today. We just had a report of a drive-by shooting. Open just an open power and smell of marijuana. I need a dog man, he's out on foot in the school. He got up after I hit him. Got a couple of 12 gauge shotguns here. Wow. Don't go, you're going to jail. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. Can you get the base opening? Okay, we just received a call at uh, from one of our local bars. There's been uh, possible shots fired or a firecracker go off in the bar. They're not exactly sure. We got a member at the scene there and he's asking for some cover. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let him roll. Let him roll over. Put your hands behind. Let him roll over. Crap. Let him roll over. Okay. Put your hand on your back. Oh, you can't. Put your hand behind your back. He's okay. Let him the hand behind your back. Okay. Back off. Man, there's four you back off. Okay. Don't touch me, man. Back off. Don't touch me. Let him go. Back off. Back off my ass. And you kiss my ass. Back off what? Let him go. I'm going to jail for what? For obstruction, if you don't get too low. Behind him, let him go, man. What did I do, man? He's got a knife, bro. He's got a knife, bro. Cuff him. He's grabbing something, man. Gun. Cuff him. Gun. Cuff him. Right now. Grab those guys over there. Cuff him. Cuff him. Here, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're involved in this as far as I know. There's a cuff me up. Let him go, man. Let him talk. Take this one, man. Three eight portable. Five. Three three two portable. Why is that guy hitting my knee? Alright, right, portable, go. Three two, we got a man here with a gun. Why is that guy hitting my knee? We have a couple more cars here, please. It's uh, been a madhouse. No problem. Everyone's secured, but what am I just to keep things under control. You're under arrest for what? You're searching for weapons. Okay. Well, so you're involved in this as far as I know. I've been searched so I don't know that. Right here. Yeah, no, I, I don't I'm interviewed because I already got one, so just settle down. Is that okay. thing cleared? Okay. Well, I don't know that, man. Okay, I'll search you. You were told to move. No move. I wasn't told to move. I just stepped here. Well, I just stepped here. You were told to move. Now move. Now! Guys. You're going to. You're going to. Because I told you to move. Now move. What? Move. Listen. Now. If you want to shoot move. Face, go ahead. Go move. Ahead. Go now. Ahead. This is a free country. Did you hear what I said? It makes you brave because you got a badge and a move. gun. It makes you brave, doesn't it? It makes you real brave. I told you to move. Oh, y'all, big gun. I told you to move. What the f*** is that for? Oh, what? Uh, what? Put your hands back. Keep them back. <laughs> I just got clocked in the f***ing chin. Keep it for what? Oh, man. I can't believe it. You're going to see soon that we are playing this a game here. shit. That's what you're going to see. Oh, what? Oh, There's man. a gun. I don't play with guns, okay? Oh. What? We got oh, one of your guys. You're under arrest for obstruction. How, how did I obstruct the city law? Because you aren't obeying us when we're investigating. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh please. That was That's sad. Obstruction. Yeah. What? Okay, this is a gunman, right? Yeah, okay, hang on, listen to me here for a second. You're under arrest for possession of restricted weapon. Yeah. My duty to inform you that you have the right to retain and strike counsel without delay. You may call any lawyer you want. The legal aid duty lawyer is available to provide legal advice to you free of charge. You can explain the legal aid plan to you. Can I drive with Mason Island? Listen, do you want to get arrested? Drive with Mason you want to get, you're under arrest. You don't listen too good. Now you're under arrest. Okay? You had lots of opportunity to go. Okay, now you go to jail. 
Uh, how can you drive a Mesa with damn thing? I know Let's go. I just got sprayed with Mesa. I'm going to drive a Mesa. You got one in your car. I got one in my car, too. I got sprayed with Mesa for no reason at all. I'm walking with my car. Who's got an empty car? Hang on. I got one in my car. You got one in yours? Who's got an empty car? Hang on, let's find out where we're taking him first. You got one in this car, not in that car. This, you we'll put him in mine. I got one in my face. I got one in my car. For walking in my car. I'm at a tow bar. I'm We're at a tow bar. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, Mom and Dad. How are you? <laughs> we're not in trouble. That's for sure. We're just having fun. We're just drunk. We're not in trouble. Not in trouble. We're having fun. <laughs> and I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm just on. My day is just on. Bro. <laughs> Hi, Mom and Dad, we're having fun. See Keep, you later. Keep her shining all night. <laughs> we get to the bar and there's a crowd of people outside and it turns out uh, once again that uh, they think there's possibly been a shot fired and, and there's been a number of people that have been pointed out to the officers at the scene that may have been responsible for it. The one fellow there uh, was uh, asked to step aside uh, so he could be searched and refused so he was... Uh, Cody was under, under arrest, he grabbed by the arm and uh, decided to make a run for it. Uh, resulted in a small foot pursuit and he was caught and did in fact have a gun on him. Uh, of course that creates a lot of excitement and all his buddies come around and they're all wanting to uh, yell and scream and uh, let him go, this kind of thing. And as a result of that, a lot of those guys got arrested as well. Uh, for either obstruction or breach of the peace. Basically a situation where we just want to uh, get everybody under control and make sure that nobody gets hurt. It's for our safety as well as for their safety. And in the end, we let everybody go, but uh, two. One fellow was charged or is going to be charged by the looks of things for obstruction and the other fellow for the possession of a restricted weapon. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good Donnie Brook. What's the problem tonight? I don't have a problem. No? Where do you Asking live? for a light. Where do you live? Okay, do you guys know what happened to the door down here? Well, no, I didn't witness it. He what happened to the door down here? I heard it took about half an hour, but somebody mangled the door. I believe it's probably him because the ambulance came, the cops came, the fire truck came. When was that? And, uh, he was out there. Did I have to go to the hospital? About 9 o'clock. So the door got broke at 9 o'clock? Yeah, yeah, around 9 o'clock. Okay, so that didn't just happen now? No, no. No. And, these people don't want to and we just, this is a coincidence, we were oh, just calling on her to see if we could yeah, buy a couple of beers. This girlfriend was in yeah. this, this, this has all happened from earlier on to me. Yeah, I went to the hospital already. So why are we here again? It's kind of wired, eh? Why are we here again? Yeah, we. We as in who? As in one, two, and three. Okay. Well, the reason why we're here is because we got another complaint here tonight. Against who? Me? Well, not necessarily you, but we got a complaint that there was... Uh, a fight going on in here. Oh, so. there's no fight happening in here. Are you guys fighting in here right now? Oh, no. That was hours ago. Okay, where do you live, sir? Where do I you live? I live on 12th Avenue, 8052 12th Avenue. And how come you're not there right now, nursing your wounds here? Well, because I have a friend. He needs stitches. I mean, Can I help you? Uh, hey, just relax. Yeah, you're talking to us. Someone. You're talking he's with us. Hammer in my face. He's with us. So, sorry you were saying. Go on with your story. He's with us? Yes, he is. Go on with your story. <laughs> Down. Continue. Avenue. Okay. Down. Are you are you going to, are you going to go home? Are you going to go home tonight? Have you been drinking at all tonight? Well, I don't think it was here as Not recently. No. Not recently. Are you on any drugs right now? No. And I guess that precipitated no. this adventure with the. Family. Okay. I'm a little bit of pain, but I ain't on drugs and I ain't on alcohol recently. Well, I th I think a good idea here would be for you to uh, head home. Head home for the night. I'm trying to get a light from a friend of mine. Uh, and then I'll be heading home. What do you, what, what do you want to do with this fight. guy? I'm going to knock and find out if his girlfriend wants him here. If his girlfriend doesn't want him here, he's out of here. Okay. Deal? He should, go to the, uh, he should go to the hospital. I'm not he going to any hospital, right? Just get them fixed up, man. That's a really bad thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did, did a doctor already oh. look at your hand? No. It's the police, man. Did the ambulance attendants look at your it's hand? the police. Yeah, they, they did. Hi there. Hi there. Am I not wanted here, Samantha? 
My wanted in jail. That's what they want to know. Twelve copy. I don't want him in jail. Well, that's where he's going because he can't stay out here tonight. I'm going home. Acting the way he I, is. I was asking her for a light. She was getting me a light, and then I was. Okay. Going well, we've been here home. earlier. We were here earlier on tonight for problems, and there's more problems, and she doesn't well, want you here. More so we've got two choices, and that is going home right now, or going to jail. Okay, that's your choices. Where do you so, live? For what exactly? Twelfth Avenue. Go for home. What? Okay. So did you hear me? Yeah. It's, can it's I, time can for it's time, first. It's time for and you, then can I go home? No, it's no. time for you to clue no. into what I'm telling you right now. Otherwise, you're gonna go to jail. I'll take you there, okay? Please so enough's enough. Let's go. We're going out. out We're going right now. Okay. All right. You don't, you don't have to okay. grab me out. I'll well, you're not listening, so I have to, uh, I have to, uh, I have to take you with me here because you're not listening properly. I get beat up by some goof here. Well, then I think it's a, window. then it's probably a good idea that you go home then, don't you think? If I had bus fare to get home, I'd be more than happy to go home. Enough's enough like, for the night. Let's go. All it was taken when I was in that fight, okay? So yeah. How the f am I going to get home? I'll ah. take you home. How about Will that? Take, yeah, let's I'd go. I love that. Let's go. We're going home now. Okay. Over to that car there, the one that at the back. Over there? Yeah. I'd appreciate that. Large. Yeah. Well, we don't want any more fighting and uh, hooliganism going on over at the building there. Okay, come on in. Thank you very much. It came in originally as a domestic dispute between a male and a female. When we arrived in the building, we found the uh, bleeding victim inside, and he explained that he'd been the victim of an assault. Um, had a confrontation with another male, and he got injured when they, they knocked the door down and the glass got broken and his hands got sliced open. He also claims that the other party that he was fighting with was quite badly injured as well. We've never been able to confirm that because nobody will tell us if there was a second party or who he was. The way I came back. Okay, well, that's him. You didn't him. get stitched? Nope. What happened? I, they took you up to the hospital to get stitched up. Didn't want them. Can't you afford didn't. them. We told you the whole story about that. I can't afford that shit. We told you you didn't have to pay for it. Did you talk to the doctor? Did don't want to. You don't want to talk to a doctor. You signed yourself out of the hospital when you were in there? Nope. They didn't ask me to. They said you can leave anytime you'd like. Okay. So I left anytime I like. So well, you got some pretty nasty gashes well, there that I'll need live. treatment. What, what's I'm your first alive, name, right? sir? What's your first name? My name. My first name's Kevin. Okay. Listen, Kevin. I'm looking at your hand right now, and if you don't get some medical attention for that hand, you might not have it in the morning. Okay? I think I'll be all right, man. You really do, eh? I really do. Okay, because I'm I'm sort I've of in. I've had worse cuts than this, and I'm still alive. Well, I'm not doubting that, I but still I'm. I got all my body parts. Okay, but I'm just looking at that, and I'm kind of concerned because. Uh, I thank you for your concern. I really do. I appreciate it, but I think I will be all right. Because I'm telling you, you're going to need some stitches and whatnot for that hand. It's both hands plus his arm, upper arm is badly cut too. Okay. He, uh, his hand is uh, it's pretty mangled, eh? He's going to have to have that looked at. Like he's going to have to have that looked at. He didn't want to go with the ambulance. He before. went. He was at the hospital. They were uh, booking him in for treatment when I was there. He's got a fixation in his head that he can't afford it. I keep telling him that emergency yeah. treatment will be given without fee. Okay. We originally attended here on this call with regards to a domestic. Uh, it turns out that members were here earlier on this evening uh, where uh, the victim that we found inside, all bloodied, uh, was involved in a fight. Uh, he was taken to hospital at that time. Uh, we got another call and that's why we're attending here tonight now. Uh, with the same victim and returned back to the scene to uh, contact his girlfriend. There was no domestic. Uh, they were just having a loud uh, verbal uh, conversation in the, in the hallway, and the victim uh, agreed to go home on his own. What we got here is just a, a verbal what do we call it, verbals, and somebody comes in off the street and uh, tells us there's an ambulance call, or in this case, it's either an overdose or an alcohol overdose or 
something like that. So we usually just walk to them because we're so close by, and then the piece of apparatus just follows up behind like it's doing now. You okay? No, I don't need it. You don't need it? You can't stay here, and you're going to have to go to the hospital. No. Yeah, she shot up about an hour ago. Did you fall, or did you lie down yourself? So you didn't bump your head or anything? No? Did you sit up for us, Bill? Did you sit up for us? You got any needles on you now? What's your name? What's your name? Cindy? Where do you live, Cindy? You live on the street? Cindy? You just live on the street? We've had you before. Who's that, your friend? Just try not to move around, okay? What happened? They want you to back away. Back away with your cigarette. Don't you put your hand on the shoe for a pillow? Lie down, lie down. Just relax. Lie down, man. What happened? Get away with a cigarette. Listen, buddy, I'm not doing any accident, man. How much did you take? Not enough. Not enough? Uh, Bomber, Sammy. Uh, you got any needles on you now? So we're not going to get stuck with one. How far did you walk without your shoes on? Your feet are just black. You got gum stuck to your feet. You want me to take your pouch off or you're going to leave it on? Cindy, you're going to have to talk to us, okay? He doesn't want it. I don't like you, okay? You've been mean to me. I've been mean. What she's done is she shot up about an hour ago. And uh, basically, there's not a heck of a lot we can do to the ambulance gets here. I mean, we just have very few things. We got oxygen, and that's about it. And uh, in this situation, so she, she totally refuses to take the oxygen. So what we'll do is uh, we'll stay here and just monitor her. And uh, when the ambulance service gets here, they'll take her down to St. Paul's, and uh, they'll just monitor her. OK, she did a speedball. She did, she did like, um, OK, about five points of cocaine at one time. Yeah. That's a lot, okay? Yeah. Um, then she said she did some down. I don't know how much down, but she, she did chicken severely just a while ago. Okay? So she said it was about an hour ago, and then she said about half an hour ago, so we'll say 45 minutes. She wants to go to triage. Okay? No, they won't, they won't take her like that. There's no way they'll take her like that. She has to be... Uh, they'll take her to St. Paul's. So she didn't take any heroin today? Yes, she did. She took some heroin to counteract oh, okay. apparently. The, uh, first she said she did a speedball, which is heroin and coke together. Yeah. Then she said no, she did the coke. Uh, did, uh, tweet or Jones or died. I think she probably died. She probably did. Um, came back and then of course did a whack of heroin. So, but she's really bad. Um, like when she does cocaine, she seems to lose all her. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've had her a few times before. Oh, okay. Well, you know what's going yeah. on then. Okay, but she has that habit of always taking her shoes off. Mm-hmm. But she uh, and going through garbage is. She doesn't want to go to St. Paul, so do whatever you can to alleviate the fact that you are taking her there. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Well, what we found out from her friend there is uh, what she's done is she's actually taken a speedball, which is a mixture of uh, cocaine and heroin. Uh, she figures about five points, which is a lot. 
And uh, after she did the speed ball, a little, little while later, she did another shoot up of uh, heroin. And uh, so this is a situation she's in. So she doesn't want to go to the hospital, but she has to go to the hospital. We'll end up finding her dead down the street. Leave her down. Leave her down. She wants to sit up. Leave her alone. Well, you're going to have to keep walking. We're going to be picking you up in a half an hour or so. I'm not I am, but not quite the same. The other girl that was with her is her girlfriend, and uh, she shot up as well. But uh, she's a little wise. She knows she has to keep walking because uh, if she doesn't keep walking, she'll end up lying on the ground and uh, going unconscious. And uh, either we or it's another hall will end up going to another location for a drug overdose, or we'll just find her dead in the back of a dumpster or in her room uh, a couple days from now, or maybe even later tonight. She took a, uh, her friend said she took a five point uh, speed ball. What's that? She took about a five point speed ball, she said about an hour ago. And uh, she wants no oxygen, she wants nothing, she doesn't want to go to the hospital or anything. Hello? Hi. Her, name, her name's Cindy. Cindy? Okay. All we could do on this patient, we just checked her vitals, made sure she was breathing, and she's talking, so she's breathing. And, um, she refused all any other treatment at all. We're going to give her some oxygen, and uh, she refused that and didn't want to go to the hospital. So uh, once EHS uh, showed up, I guess she was starting to fall a little farther down with the drugs, and uh, she decided she was going to go to the hospital. So uh, EHS uh, put her on the bed, and uh, away they took her to the hospital where she'll be, uh, they'll just monitor her for a few hours and send her back on her way. 60 pounder. A whiskey? Yeah. And they took it right directly right off me. How did they take it directly and, right off? Uh, the woman in there, that girl, uh -huh. and she like turned around and punched me right in the face saying this knocked me down, eh? And all this kind of stuff. Eh? A woman? Yep, yep. Because I got narcolepsy and I just sort of, you know. What's narcolepsy? Uh, like a sleeping disorder, eh? When oh, yeah. you fall asleep all the time for no oh, reason? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I was, you know, trying to help out, eh? You You're know, supposed I just... to be drinking if you have narcolepsy? See, look, look. I'm soaking wet, eh? Yeah. I'm just trying to just do whatever. And they're sitting in that cafe right now, and they're just sitting there, and they're drinking my bottle. Mm. Who are these people with you? Are they friends, or relatives? No, they're, they're not. They're not. Uh, they're just, like, heroin addicts, eh? Okay. And do what's they her name? And they took my shoe. Do what? they have drugs in there right now? Yes, they do. What's what her do name? They have? Uh, probably, uh... Okay, uh, I don't know, something shooting up, eh? What's her name? Uh, her name, okay, the, the guy's name is Gabriel, and her name is uh, Maureen. Maureen. Well, how did they get into your place? Well, they just, basically, they just came in, eh? And my bottle went missing, eh? I, I just bought a 60 pounder, And uh, they just told me, just told me. me. That part of your road map. They basically just came in your uh, place? Just took it right out of You must have been shocked. So were they in your place when yeah. you went down to, yeah, the, to get the bottle? Yeah. They were in your place they when you went down to get the bottle? They were in my place, and they took it. They just no, no, completely ripped it off, eh? <laughs> and they took your shoe too. Yeah. Jeez, that. I wonder what they're gonna do with that. Oh, they remind me of a Monty Python. Oh, seriously, did. did okay. um, no, I believe you. Were, it's just. Were they in your place yes. when you went to get the bottle? Okay, I had the bottle inside my place. Okay. I poured. No, listen. Uh, stop. Okay. Stop. Clear your mind of okay. all thoughts. Okay. okay. Simple question, okay. simple answer. No problem. When you went to go get the bottle, bottle. Okay. were they in your place? place? No, they weren't. Okay, so they came over yes. after you got the bottle. Yes, exactly. Yes. And were so they invited the over? In there. They... there it is. It's in their place right there. Yo! Did they come knock on the door and you let them in, or what happened? Basically, they stole it out of my trailer. That's it. They saw, No, they're still in your trailer. No, they, they didn't steal it out, out of your trailer. trailer. The bottle's inside of that camper right now. <laughs> Well, we aren't the booze recovery team, eh? Listen, when you came back with your bottle, yeah. they weren't in your trailer, right? No. Okay, so they came over. Yes. Did they knock on the door, you let them in? Nope. You guys have a couple nope. drinks? What nope. happened? Nope. I knocked on the door, or, uh, okay, I was in my trailer, I turned around, I said, I'm gonna go to the can, have a shower, whatever. Says to who? Not for me. You said okay, that Maureen was in my trailer. Okay. okay, okay, now, how did she get in your trailer? I let her in my trailer. Oh. Okay, I let her in my trailer. <laughs> okay. But then she turned around and she goes, kaboom! Yeah. She banged me right here, eh? For no reason? Yeah, for no reason. Where's Maureen? Right? Maureen's over here. And they're in that, kind of that camper right there. Okay. Not my ball, they're all sitting there all happy. This is your camper? No, that's not I, I live over there, eh? Okay, why don't you show us which camper it is? Okay, that camper is sitting right there. Hey, you, girl, you know where my bottle is, eh? You hit it. In your back? I know for a fact. Sean. Sean. They're always, they're always. I know for a fact. 
supposed to be in the bathroom. And they ripped this thing right off here. That thing was supposed to be on the wall there, and they ripped that thing off, eh? They kicked it right off the friggin' wall, eh? Hmm. They must have been mad. How much have you been drinking tonight? Oh, not much. No? You know what? I probably would have hid your bottle too. I think you've had a little too much to drink. Oh, oh, that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. It's not? No. Did you just check all your cupboards? Oh, yeah, I've checked everything out, eh? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, checked everything out, eh? Just stock you right up. That's uh, garbage. <laughs> And uh, she uh, punched me right, right in the eye. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, she did. Look at, look, look. Why'd she do that? Look at, why did she do that? I'm looking. Because she just turned around. Why did she do that? This lady Sneak. says that she did hit you. The reason yes. she hit you is because you shoved her. No, I didn't shove her. Well, I'll tell you what. And I can't. And they ripped off my bottle. I, I bought you. a brand new 60 pounder of booze and they stole it. Right okay. out of here. Okay, I'll tell you what. They stole it. I'll tell you what. I can't prove that they stole that it. this happened one way or the other. What I can say is that everybody's so intoxicated So I go over here. there and uh, set fire to their place, and then all the everything will be fine. Oh, breach the peace. I think maybe you need to come with me for the night. No, I'm fine. No, I think you may need to come with me for the night. You're under arrest, OK? For, come for on. Yeah. You're under arrest for any threats, OK? Oh, sir, I'm sorry about that. Well, oh, no, I'm not, eh? Get up. Oh, you get. You're under arrest for uttering threats. Well, you come with me. Watch your step. I'll make sure you don't burn your yeah, place down. Can you make sure you uh, lock my door? How do you lock it? What now? Hey, John! What now? John! John! Okay. What now? Yeah. yeah. No problem. No problem. Hey, John! John! I want a witness. I already got a witness. You got a whole bunch of witnesses, yeah, man. No You're going to have a quarter of a million witnesses. No problem. <laughs> What happened here is we were responding to a call, a drunk male called in and said he needs some assistance, there was a fight going on in the trailer. We went to the trailer and uh, all the parties involved were extremely intoxicated, probably under the influence of some kind of narcotics. And uh, the complainant's main problem seemed to be that he's lost his 60 ounce of uh, liquor. So we never did find 60 ounce of liquor. His story, he seems to have almost uh, no credibility. Uh, really, none of the other parties do either, but uh, the woman says she was hit first, and that's why she hit him. Uh, it ended up he got taken to jail for uttering a threat. Uh, when we were about to depart, he said that what will happen if I go over and burn down their trailer. So he was arrested for uttering a threat. Uh, it doesn't seem the other parties would be interested in pursuing charges, so he'll probably be held for the night uh, to relax there. Do you have a license for registration on you? Exactly. That's not a license or a registration, that's a ticket. I just got a pullover last night and this had a... How much you had to drink tonight? What, uh, two beers? About two beers? That's it. Oh, yeah. Hop out. Hop out, come on out. You want to step by? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure. Where am I going? Come back here. Do you have a driver's license on you? Yeah. No more than two drinks. No more than two drinks? How come you're driving with your tire in the dirt over here? Because you pulled me over. No, before I pulled you over. I don't think so. You don't? No, I like it when I guess uh, I'm seeing things tonight. Having trouble finding your license? Nope. It's right there. I've been looking at it for the last 30 seconds. That's not the one. The why? Whose license is that? I got a two. You got two? Yeah. Why? Because the one I got pulled over, because that's the one I was suspended, and this is not the one I got suspended. That's right. That's why. You got your license suspended? Long time ago. For no. what? Because I had uh, got a three tickets for speeding. Yeah. That's why. I have two of them, no problem. That's the same number. Okay, yeah, grab your other license there. No problem. 
Has anybody in this vehicle not been drinking? I don't think so. It's a pick them up, you know. Is there any liquor in the vehicle? Maybe a little bit more, maybe. I don't think so. It's as good as any. Is there any liquor in here, fellas? I'm going to look, so you might as well be honest. Yeah. None? What do you mean? What do I mean? Some booze here? Yeah, any liquor in the vehicle. Search. Huh? Good search. That's a piece right here. Is uh, the dog man still on? That's just a call, sir. It's fine. Okay. Do you have any uh, liquor by your legs there? No? Have you been drinking tonight? No? How old are you? Do you have a driver's license? No? Do you? No, sir. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I feel you've had a little too much to drink tonight. Pardon me? I don't think so. You don't think so? I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tow your vehicle and I'm going to suspend your license for 24 hours, okay? If it's you like. It's if you up to you. I'll say I had to only two beers. You had two First beers? First time I've drank. First time you've ever drank? First time. It's going to take me about a five minutes to drive. Not even five minutes, about two minutes to drive. Then it shouldn't be too long of a walk. No. Yeah. I can drive if you want. No. It's up to you, sir. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to walk home. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to tow your vehicle because it's parked on the road right. here. You see, that's a 134 Street, right? No. That's right. It's in the front of us. That's 132nd, 4th Street, right? I want 132nd, 2A Street. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't think I want to drink. Uh, you know, last time I got a pull of my car. No problem. Yeah. Well, this isn't last time. Last time I got a pull of my car. He wants to me to pull out the bill that I have for everything inspection for this pickup. It's in that truck. It's up to you, sir. Yeah. Well, I've, I've made up my mind on this. No, I'm saying it's up to you, sir. Yeah. No problem. Okay. If you want me, I just kind of walk home, no problem. Yeah. So I'm going to read this little uh, spiel to you, okay? I want you to listen to me. I have reasonable and probable grounds to believe that your ability to drive a motor vehicle is affected by alcohol, mm -hmm. and I therefore direct you to surrender your driver's you license. Here, sir. You are now prohibited from driving a motor vehicle for a period of 24 hours from this time and date. However, if you do not accept this prohibition, you have the right to either request a breathalyzer test or obtain a certificate from a medical practitioner. In the event your blood alcohol level is shown not to exceed 50 milligrams of alcohol, and 100 milliliters of blood by the test or certificate, this prohibition from driving is terminated. Do you understand all that? No problem, sir. No problem? Yeah. Only I had a one, two beers. Yeah. Doesn't think I'm going to drink it, right? Okay. Yeah. Surrey from 35. Can I get a file number for 214? 53024. I don't think you ever pulled me over before. No, I haven't pulled you over before. Hopefully, I won't pull you over again. Is that a ticket there? No. This is your suspension. Please don't do that. Pardon me? Please don't do that. You know why? Why? Just live water. One second drive this from here. Please, sir. Uh, you should have thought of that before. I don't think so. I do. You know why? Why? The one, 130 second. I used to work at the place on 92 second. I just, you know, walk home by by. I got some money that I bought that place. Yeah. And uh, just, uh, you know, try to be a businessman. They mean that I'm going to drink and whatever, right? Only have two drinks. Please don't do that, sir. I can, that's all I can say, please. It's not over more than two drinks. Well, I don't believe you, sir. You know why? Why? First time I drink, that's why, sir. Yeah. Please don't do that. Well, my mind's made up here. You've had too much to drink, in my opinion. So you aren't going to be charged with anything. I'm going to suspend your license for 24 hours. Okay, sir. No problem. Okay. That's up to you, but I'm not drunk, sir. Even if you. Uh, I never said you were drunk. Okay, that's up to you. you know. You've had too much to drink to be driving. You think so? Yeah. Here you go. Sign right there. I'm not going to pick. It. Sign it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know why? Why? It's up to you. Okay, I'm going to hang on to your license. You can pick that up at our detachment after 24 hours. Okay, there's your copy of the suspension. Mm -hmm. Here's your registration back. 
and uh, we'll just send you on your way now. You're sure you don't want a cab, eh? That's going to be what our cannabis will pick up my truck. Anyway. What's that? Somebody's going to pick up my No, the tow truck's coming right now. It's going to be 10 minutes anyways. Yeah, the tow truck is coming to tow it to Coastline. Then you can go pick it up at Coastline. Why? Because that's the way it works, because right now it's obstructing traffic here. Oh, wasn't driving. Why did you know who was driving anyway? How do I know who was driving? Yeah. Because I just pulled you over, sir, and I got, I watched you. Who was the one who was, came out of the window was driving? The guy that came out of the window was driving? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you tell me that? I'm not going to stand here and bicker with you, okay? You're no, suspended no, from driving no, for 24 no. hours. That's okay. If you suspend me that for 24, no problem. That's good. Okay, fellas, hop out. You guys are going to be walking home. No problem. Listen, sir. Yes. Last time I went that, I won it. Yeah. And I will win this time. Okay, that's good. Okay, hop in there and turn your uh, turn your truck off. Right. Yeah. That's okay. Even a stand yeah, on sure. my no problem. Just stand up for a while. Okay. I will win. You will win. I will win. Okay. No problem. Good stuff. You know why? Why is that? You wrote me a stupid question. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I won it last time. Did you? No problem. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. See ya. Whatever you want, you can do it, boy. I will win it. Okay. You know why? Only two beers. Whoever you left was drink up for more than ten beers an hour. Oh, ah, okay. See you later. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. All right. See you later. Have a good night. Right. Good night. Have a good Bye. All right? Yeah. Sir, what's your name anyways? It's Bernardi's. Constable Bernardi's. What's this? C-O-N? Yes, C-O-N, yes. Anyways. I got it. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Yeah. What do you, you might think you have been. You did not. Okay. I guarantee. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Good night. Good night. You did not drink. I did not drink, sir. Okay. One beer. What you did? One beer. Not even one beer. Not even one. Oh. Okay. And me over. Good night. I think you did not Good night. Okay, see you in court. Sure? Yeah. No problem. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Good night. Okay, good night. Well, what we had here was a uh, male who had been drinking a little. <clears throat> he was driving. His tires were actually off the road. When he took the corner back there, I could see he was all over the road, so I pulled him over. And uh, he was exhibiting some symptoms of uh, a guy that had had too much to drink. It was fairly borderline. He probably would have blown over, but not too much over. So I gave him a 24-hour suspension, which he's not thrilled about. We're going to tow his car because uh, I don't want to get hit here, so it'll be towed to the local uh, coastline towing. And uh, he's not very happy, and I think he thinks uh, he's in a lot worse predicament than he is. But like everyone else, he's going to sue me. block Broadway. We're running in with another company. Uh, I believe it's ladder 15. It's getting close to the edge of our district. It's for uh, smoke in the basement, or a lot of it, and we'll be first in. Where is it? Up top, there's just a pile of smoke in there. It's got a really old heater. The landlord. This one here? Front door open? Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Got some smoke in here, Cap. Is there anything in the fireplace? I've been in this place before. Everything Rubber, cold. Burn, right? That's cool. That's cold. That's cool. It's clear downstairs, and there's no smell down there, no. Did you know, do you know where the smoke was coming from? It, it seems like a mess. 
We went down and got something to eat, and when we came back, it was full of smoke. You had the fireplace on tonight? No, no. There hasn't been a fire in there for like two weeks. Our heater broke. The furnace in the basement broke, and for two weeks we heated the house with that and tried to. And they just got the heater fixed, supposedly. Where's the heater? In the basement. Can you show me where it is? Yep. Do you want to hold that in? Oh, you can. Hold it tight. Maybe we get somebody to what do you want? face off that furnace, just take a look inside, see if we can find the filters. Yeah, because it's warm underneath uh, that one corner, eh? Can't access that furnace from the other side at all? Because there's got to be a way that they're going to serve. You can't get the filters and stuff from out of here. It's hot, all right, I think but. They just built around this thing. Yeah. Well, I see you can get the filter out of the side of it, eh? No, not really. Yeah. They might just build this thing in or after. Oh yeah, definitely, because they got the. Uh, well, you see they, they, they zipped the well, pan, the zip the panel on the side. A couple of minutes, and there's no. Uh, no flame. No, there's lots of flame, but it's not the. Uh, the. Uh, the fan. The fan. So it's just uh, really hot up top. You can see it. Looks like it's discolored that right there, right where above. Where's the cap down? Okay. We'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Cap. That furnace down there it kicks on, eh? And it kicks on all the burners, but it does that. The, the fan doesn't kick on to push the air anywhere. Be a burnt out furnace fan you know what it is? The landlords, we, we, they came here and they didn't want to put a new furnace in. Well, this is only a, this is only a part of the furnace. I mean, I'm not saying the whole thing. I can't. No, but we got VC hide or VC is it VC hide? VC gas, I guess. Yeah. VC gas to come and look at it, and they said it's no good. You need yeah. a new furnace. Well, now they're gonna have to do some something to it too. That's probably you guys haven't had a fire in there for a while, two weeks. So you know the brick at the back is warm, and they vent those furnaces, you know, into up through the stack. So, you know, you're gonna. Unfortunately, you got the weekend coming up. Unless your landlord gets around right now, you may want to start a fire yeah. to keep warm. Yeah, it'll be safe for us. To yeah, it should be all right uh, with a uh, with a fire. I'll check with the cap, but that shouldn't be a problem with that because it's a separate unit too. And down there, they, there's no access to the furnace. It's just a little hole in the wall. They built around it. So, unfortunately, it's uh, Friday night, and uh, you're not going to get a new furnace until you get a hold of the landlord and or he decides to do something with it. But that's what we pre. It looks like the smoke is clearing up a bit. We shut it off electrically and. And uh, the gas is shut off. I'll go just check with the skipper and uh, and see if you guys can burn some burn some wood and stuff like that to keep warm. Uh, we went downstairs, checked the furnace downstairs. Uh, it appears that the fan wasn't working, so it was heating up and uh, basically getting uh, not ventilating uh, enough and just causing the bricks at the back of the fire uh, place to warm up. Lots of soot in all the uh, vents and what have you. Not um, basically, it's a malfunction in the in the furnace. So. Until they get that corrected, they're going to have a couple of cold nights. Cool right down, huh? mm -hmm. the Thermostat's off too, eh? Okay. Yep. I think we've... Okay, we've, we've given them an order, as the captain told you. We've given them an, an order downstairs. They're not to turn the gas on or the electrical for the furnace. Okay. Until it's serviced by a qualified okay. technician. Good. You make sure they don't. I will. And uh, what about our oven? That's gas. Should we not turn that on? Well, it's separate, that, that, separate that, stuff. Been shut off. Okay. It's just the furnace that's been shut off right now. All right. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, and I'll watch, make sure. You make make sure they don't. If that heat comes on, yeah. you know. And I can hear it in my bedroom. Well, you'll so smell okay. it because it's burnt yeah. out. It's just going to make more right. Okay. So make sure they don't. I'd like to know why. Well, I guess it was just conduction. It's cooling down the floor yeah. on top of it, yeah. even as two, uh, Phil. You make kind of a screen? For this thing? I uh, know there's nothing there. I, I'll pick something up. What what would I get? Just so screen. Just any any mesh screen or something to, to stop uh, stop stuff from coming out okay. coming out onto the carpet, yeah. or you might have a bigger problem than you've had so far. And the other yeah, thing yeah, is too that a lot of the grouting is going on this eh? Okay. I've been in, I just moved in here about three weeks ago. Uh, see, like in here. Uh huh. It's pretty looking. Oh. I wouldn't even use this anymore because if it either. gets in there. You're gonna have some serious problems. All right. And you hear it, see? Yep. Well, then I won't even bother lighting that. Oh. I think I'll be making a trip to the rental board on Monday. Because we'll yeah. be weeks without heat if we can. You know, you have any kind of electric heater or anything? No. The no heater way. broke two weeks ago, just before Christmas, and we went literally two and a half weeks with no heat. That's how we heated it, throwing a log in there now and then. And that hmm. doesn't throw a lot of heat. 
Yeah, I think I say I wouldn't use this either. No. Uh -huh. yeah, All right. Sure. It does. It's not worth it. It doesn't throw too much heat. In. You tell them that we issued the order and they have it downstairs. Okay. Okay. And it's not to be used until it's fixed. Uh -huh.